We are back again with your daily dose of Deb and this week I wanted to share something that I found quite interesting. I told the story better to Jay yesterday. I'm going to see if I can replicate it because yesterday I was really excited when I learned about it so I was able just to spit it out and tell the story. Now that I've been thinking about it for a day I don't really know if I'm going to be able to have that same excitement. Nonetheless I want to try my best to get this across. So now that I've started my film classes I am learning that the things I've liked or the things I've liked now have had a place in history and obviously we know that history often repeats itself but I never really knew some of the things that my current artists that I like now I didn't know where those influences came from for example a lot of the Tim <sighs> for example a lot of the Tim Burton stuff I like, I didn't realize that came from an art form called German Expressionism that used, uses like really heavy makeup, really dramatic acting, and then, sorry my voice squeaks, awkward, and then another thing is, so I'm learning in my world cinema class about an early filmmaker called George, or named I should say, George Mele, who's a filmmaker in France. So in 1902, he made a film called A Trip to the Moon. And then I was watching it, I was like, mm, some of this seems really familiar, but I know I've never seen this. This, this is older than anything I've really seen. And then there's um, some imagery that really caught my eye and it's a picture, I can insert it here. It's a moon and it has like an animated face and it's a spaceship like pegging him right in the eye and he's doing this kind of face. And I was like, oh, I know exactly where I've seen that. I've seen that in the Smashing Pumpkins video. It's their Tonight Tonight video on the Melancholy, on the Melancholy album. I watched that music video over and I was like, oh, I'm gonna Google it just to make sure like I'm not really just putting things in my own mind and getting it wrong. So then I came across an article and I read the whole thing and it proved that that's kind of where uh, like, the filmmakers for that music video got the inspiration because I think earlier they were gonna go with something else but then the Red Hot Chili Peppers came out with a music video that was similar to their idea so they had to scrap that whole idea and come up with something different. So they came up with this and they wanted to use like similar imagery from 1902 film A Trip to the Moon. Not everything was exactly the same but there is a female and male character, and who is that male character, you may ask? None other than my boy, SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, that male in that music video is the voice for SpongeBob. Like, all the things I like all in once are related, and it just kind of blew my mind. It, like, I don't really know how to explain it other than when you like certain things about yourself or you like certain things in general and you don't really know why you like them and then you get a reason and then you find out that certain things in history are related to each other and it's kind of just like it's coming full circle for me so overall that was my first full week of school and I hope I discover more interesting things like that because that kind of blew my mind to be honest like how was one of the first early films connected to one of my favorite bands of all time connected to one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Like, pfft, mind blown.